Hello, you guys. This is Evangelist Yonda, or better yet, you can just call me Yonda. Um, this is the part two of the spirit of Moloch and how it can attach itself to miscarriages. I would like to first of all do my disclaimer, and I would like to tell any woman that has ever experienced um, a miscarriage that my heart goes out to you, and I need to tell you how the spirit of Moloch can attach itself to what happened to you. Also, in my last video, I spoke about, you know, women that have had abortions for whatever reason. I like to also go a little deeper and say that any woman that's ever had a abortion due to rape or incest, God forgives and he gives the same grace. OK, because I don't want women that's in that position to feel as though um, that life is over for them or they had no other choice or whatever the situation was. However, due to the actual act, that spirit of Moloch attached itself to it. OK, so just remember the blood of the lamb is very sufficient. OK, so. Let me get into this video and tell you guys how the spirit of Moloch can attach itself to um, miscarriages. And there's two main ways. Miscarriages can fall into the category of generational curses as well as premature death. For an example, I'll give my family as an example. When my parents first got together, my mother had already had children from a previous marriage. And so did my father. And um, my sisters and I have experienced um, generational curses with miscarriages. None of the women that's on my, on my father's side have over two children. And let me go into further detail. My oldest sister is 61 years old. And she had a miscarriage in her younger years. And she miscarried when she was three months pregnant and she was never ever able to have another child okay also my sister that turned 60 years old here recently she had her firstborn child when he was when she was 16 years old and physically it affected her to where she wasn't able to carry another child and I have one sister that was successfully able to give birth to two children and that was it and then my other sister, she had a total of three children, but her two daughters died of crib death. Okay. And then that was me. I had two miscarriages of my own. Okay. Now in further detail, when it comes down to, um, miscarriages, when I was in nursing school, they defined mis a miscarriage as a spontaneous abortion. OK, because the same procedure that it takes to give an abortion is the same procedure that they do for a miscarriage. All right. Here recently, when I looked up the definition, they've changed the definition of a uh, abortion. It just says that it is a spontaneous um, miscarriage of pregnancy before the 20th week of the pregnancy. And I'm glad that they changed that definition because as a woman that miscarried and wanted my children, I didn't feel as though I aborted them. I know for a fact that I didn't, but due to the procedure in itself is the same procedure as an abortion. That's the reason why they defined it as such. Okay. And the second attachment is premature death. All right. Some women can get pregnant and miscarry with their children due to things such as, you know, depression or an illness or stress and anxiety. And that would be considered as a premature death. I know that by me being from down south, the elder women used to always tell the younger women if they ever got pregnant in our family. And that was, oh, don't ever tell anybody that you're pregnant before time. Always wait until you get about seven or eight months pregnant because you don't want, you know, any bad luck uh, coming around you during your pregnancy. So that's considered to be a premature death. And the spirit of Moloch can attach itself to generational curses and premature death. 
So women that's had miscarriages, you have to go under the same posture and position as a woman that's had an abortion and you are to um, go into a state of repentance and ask God to take that spirit of Moloch off of you, okay? So some of you have the spirit attached to you and you can't have a healthy pregnancy due to the spirit of Moloch. So I just wanted to get on here and give you guys just a quick understanding of how Moloch, the spirit of Moloch can attach itself to a miscarriage. And hopefully that can help some of you guys. And I just want to tell you once again that uh, God gives his grace to all of us. And just put yourself in the position to go into prayer and, and receive what God has for you. To God be the glory. And I love you with the love of God. To the next time, everyone, please be blessed. God bless.